Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe and today we're going to be recapping Taylor Swift's last three US shows in Indianapolis because I was there for night three of the tour. We're also obviously going to talk about Taylor at the Chiefs game last night. A lot to get into. So let's, we have to just start. We have to, we have to jump in to Taylor Swift Indianapolis, as I mentioned, last three U.S. shows of the tour. Cannot believe that we are coming to just the last. We have two more, two more cities left of this tour, and then it is over for good, which is absolutely insane. So, as I mentioned, I went to night three of the tour, and which was the final U.S. show. And I'm sure if any of you have gone to era shows since she started the tour since we knew that she did surprise songs i was so locked in to the songs that she performed night one and night two because i felt like oh no if she performed something i really wanted to hear like night one or night two i'm gonna be disappointed right so i was super 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 locked in so let's just go over the surprise songs that she played night one night two the surprise song she she performed night three when I was there and some of my thoughts about the uh, the show, because if you haven't been around since the beginning, I was at the Taylor Swift Kansas City show night two, the night that Travis Kelsey was also at. Um, but I have not seen the show since she added the TTPD set and all of that. So there was a lot of new stuff for me to take in. But let's first start with the surprise songs. OK, so night one, she starts with the mashup of the Albatross and Holy Ground. I like the Albatross. I love Holy Ground. So this was a little tough for me because I do, I am a big Holy Ground fan. And then she did on piano, Cold As You from her debut album, An Exile. Now this is a really like kind of high highs. I, I don't want to say low lows, but like Cold As You, I'm not a huge fan of. I could have done without that song. Exile, however, I love. And I love Holy Ground. So this was a solid night of surprise songs. But when I saw these... I wasn't like, oh no, those are the songs that I would have wanted. I, I was okay. I was okay. Okay. Night two starts off with a mashup of The Prophecy and This Love. Very solid. Very solid. Would have been very happy with those songs. But I wasn't, again, wasn't devastated. And then she did a mashup of Maroon and Cowboy Like Me. Now, the friends that I was going with, they really wanted Maroon. A couple of them really wanted Maroon. So they were they were a little bit bummed that they missed Maroon. Now for me, I like the song. I'm not obsessed with the song. And Cowboy Like Me, again, I like, I don't love. So I was actually, I was okay to miss, to miss those, miss those songs. Then we move on to night three. The night I was there. Now, I have said from really again, day one. Two of my top songs that I would love to hear as a surprise song performance were Cornelia Street and Death by a Thousand Cuts. Two songs that I was like, if, if you were to ask me to make a list of like my top 10 surprise songs that I would want to hear live, those two songs would be at the top of my list. So when she starts playing that guitar and she starts performing Cornelia Street, I freaked out. <laughs> My friend and I like grabbed onto each other. We were losing our minds. I couldn't believe that she was performing it. You know, she sings that line in an arrowhead pointing us home. I felt like, okay, that's, there's a, there's a hidden message there, right? She's heading back to Kansas City. Um, and then she mashed it up with the bolter. Now I like the bolter, but my friend that I was with loves the bolter. And she actually was like, that's another song that she really wanted to hear live. So for it to be a mashup of Cornelia Street and the Bolter for her, she was losing her mind. So that was incredible. Then she goes to the piano and she starts to perform Death by a Thousand Cuts. And I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was, I was freaking out. I was freaking out. And then she mashed it up with The Great War from Midnight's Perfect. Perfect. To hear, I feel so lucky that I got to hear Cornelia Street and Death by a Thousand Cuts. She did, a lot of people were speculating on whether or not she would include any sort of politically charged messages in the music. Would she perform Only the Young, which is the song that she released in 2020 with the Miss Americana documentary. Um, that's really like her most political song that she's ever put out. 
And she didn't do anything overtly political, but she did sort of change up the words when she was singing Death by a Thousand Cuts and she sang My Body, My Love, My Choice, which again was just like a subtle nod, but it wasn't super in your face, but obviously people caught caught on to it, um, which, was, which was great. So loved it, loved the show. I mean, again, the show is just absolutely spectacular from start to finish. And like I said, I had never seen the TTPD um, set and I loved it. I loved it so much. I felt like every song that she picked to perform from that album was amazing. I really have no, no notes. I wouldn't have changed anything. The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived, freaking love that performance. Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, incredible. Like, it's just such a good show. I feel so fortunate and lucky that I've gotten to see it twice and, um, it was just so, so incredible. And to see everybody there in their outfits and trading friendship bracelets and just all the things, it was so, so, so fun. And I feel so fortunate that I got to go. So it was just absolutely in incredible. Then Taylor does the quick turnaround. She got fortunate this week because the Chiefs played on Monday rather than Sunday. So she got to make it. She made it back in time for the Chiefs Buccaneers game on Monday night. She went with her mom and her brother Austin and it was really cute. They showed a shot of her like early in the game and she's sitting in between her mom on one side and then Donna Kelsey, Travis's mom, on the other side. So love seeing the mothers just hanging out, bonding. Um, and I always just love, I love watching Taylor watch football. <laughs> like it's just so fun to see her. And it was a close game. It got went into overtime. It was a, definitely a nail biter. Um, but pulled it out. The Chiefs are undefeated, which is incredible. Um, she looks great. I loved her jacket. Amazing. And now she has a week off. She has a weekend off before she heads to Canada for, again, the last few shows. Um, so she will have this week off. I kind of assume that she'll be hanging in Kansas City with Travis. Um, the Chiefs play this weekend back home in Kansas City. So I just kind of think she'll probably spend that week with him before she heads back out on tour for the final shows. Oh, and we even we didn't even talk about the fact that Travis Kelsey was in attendance on night two. He showed up. He flew from Kansas City because the Chiefs again played on Monday. So he flew in from, from Kansas City on Saturday night. He popped in like towards the end of the show, supported Taylor, was there for her. There was videos of him hugging. Uh, his her her mom and her brother. She was he was in the tent with Caitlin Clark, and Caitlin Clark is a diehard Kansas City Chiefs fan. Loves the Chiefs, and she actually went the first two nights. She was in a a box the first night, and then she was in the VIP tent the second night. And I I do think she met Travis, and I can only imagine how she was feeling. Like oh my god, I am in the VIP tent watching Taylor Swift, and I'm also getting to meet. Travis Kelsey, who plays for my favorite football team, the Kansas City Chiefs. I love it. And again, I want to just put out the message to Travis Kelsey and the New Heights team. Have Caitlin Clark on your podcast. She needs to be on your show. Would love it so much. Um, so love loved seeing Travis there. I can't believe we, we didn't even talk about that, but that was amazing. Um, so yeah, so I think she'll probably chill with him because Travis, I don't think, will be able to go to her her shows in Canada, um, or I would be surprised if he was able to go, just given, again, the football schedule of it all. So very exciting for all the things ahead. Can't believe we're towards the end of the of the tour. Um, and I'd also be remiss if I didn't encourage you all to go out and vote today. <clears throat> it is election day in America, so if you're watching this in America and you haven't voted yet, please go out and do so if you are registered. It is so important. Your voice matters and deserves to be heard. As Taylor Swift has said in social media posts um, at the on the VMAs stage, it's important to vote. Um, so that does it for our show today. As always, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.